I've just been given the best news of my life. Spencer wants to go on a hike. <laughs> I have the day off from running, so I figured I may as well get some active recovery with a small little hike. <laughs> Four to five miles max. Big mileage this week, people. I'm gonna hit uh, 70 miles in six days, so. 10 mile hike should be no problem. <sighs> Can you tell who's more excited? <laughs> So I'm always trying to recruit Spencer into trail running and hiking, but I also fully understand that he has his own training that he's very serious about and his own goals, so it doesn't always make sense. But when he does go hiking or trail running with me, it truly makes my day. I get so excited because it's just awesome to share something that I love so much with someone that I love. So it's really just a win-win overall. And also all of the hikes here in Chamonix are beautiful. And we didn't even really know what hike we were on, but we just knew that it was nice and that wherever we went, there were great views. And we basically just went until Spence wanted to stop. But there also was this little like house at the top and there were also goats and a chicken. So I, th I think it's like a miniature farm up here. It was adorable. Just get a quick review of what you thought of the hike. One of the best hikes I've ever been on. The difficulty was perfect, length was perfect, so I'd say 9.6969 repeating out of 10. So after that we just headed down and I gotta be honest here that this footage is actually from three days before I filmed the day in the life video, so this is what we like to call bonus content and since I am so generous I do expect you to subscribe, I'm sure you understand that this bonus type content is something that very few people ever get to see so you're part of an elite group and that elite group is subscribers thank you so yesterday spence went back to the u.s that was always the plan but i am alone here now for a little while and i have not spent this much time alone in so long it's but it's really important for me that I continue to do things that make me feel good. I think it's a really good growth experience for me. Spending time alone isn't easy. Sometimes it's hard to be alone with yourself, but I think it's a really valuable skill to have. I'm excited for it. I think it'll be a good challenge. I wrote myself a to-do list for today, so already making huge progress. But first thing on the to-do list is a little run. Yay! Before every run, I do some activation exercises, and these are mainly to get my glutes and my calves firing because I tend to be pretty quad dominant, and when I'm running, I want all of my muscle groups to work synergistically. My normal shoes have about 800 miles in them. They're really starting to get worn out. I have a new pair on the way, but I'm saving these for purely trail efforts right now, so I'm wearing these today, that's why. Since I am focusing on trails right now, most of my runs are in the mountains with a lot of up and down, but about two days a week, I focus on mainly flat runs because honestly, my legs need a break. They get so tired from all the up and down. As much as I love trail and mountain running, I also do love flat running and feeling fast. So after my run, I did some strides on this track. Obviously this footage is from a different day because my camera did die, but I did strides here. That was a really good run. As soon as I get back from anything, I first check for intruders and second, lock myself in like so quickly. Record speed, just lickety split. So if you know me, you know that I'm an absolute granola fiend. It's pretty much an entire food group. I'm a snob as well. I always make my own. I don't have an oven so or an air fryer. So I'm gonna try to make stovetop granola. I don't have cinnamon either. Ugh. They didn't have it at the store. I mean, yeah. come on. But I'm just gonna throw in everything I have in here. Now for those wondering, no, this was not on the to-do list, but a girl's gotta eat. So regardless of to-do list, the granola will be made. It's good, it's good. It's not quite as crispy as in the oven or the air fryer, but
I am headed to the gym now. I'm going to do a bike workout and then lift. So yeah. Excuse me for being just incredibly dramatic in every single clip I took while biking, but honestly, bike workouts always get me. It doesn't matter how much I bike, they are just so hard. Two reps left. <laughs> this one went really well though. My heart rate was getting up and I felt strong on it. Afterwards, I went and did my lift, which I always start with a warm up that focuses on activating my core and glutes and also works on thoracic and scapular mobility a bit and that's just because when I get to my heavier movements I want to make sure that I am actually activating all of my muscles and that my mobility is strong so that I can get the full range of motion during those. So after that I move into my heavier movements. Today it was squats, hip thrusts, and deadlifts. I usually do those at the squat rack but I couldn't get one. I also did thrusters because I'm trying to do some more explosive movements. Then I finished the workout with weighted wall sits and some leg extensions just to work on muscular endurance, especially when my legs are already very fatigued. The bike straight into lift is a brutal back to back, but feels good to get it done. That lifting footage was probably so bad because there's only one gym in Chamonix and it's always super busy. I have also been having to modify every lift because like it's impossible to get a squat rack, impossible. It was pouring rain while I was in there, but it's like pretty nice now. So yeah, feeling good about it. Feeling very good about it. finished dinner. I'm eating some of these little cookie things. These are so good. We don't have these in the US. Maybe we do, but I like to think that they're a European specialty that I have the privilege of consuming while I'm here. I just talked to my parents during dinner and now I'm going to watch Love Island and that was a day in the life and yeah i'm pretty tired now it was a it was a good day of training but i'm ready to relax so yeah that's all for now folks <laughs>